Welcome back. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, if you watch my videos and you're wondering about the recent and ongoing weird topics, that is because these are specifically requested and I have to do them. <clears throat> like this one about presbyopia home remedies. Home remedies. Now, for a little bit of context, if you're new here, my name is Jake Steiner. I used to have minus five diopter high myopia. Opposite sort of symptom from presbyopia. Couldn't see far away. I reversed all of that, currently back to 2020. In my 40s now, don't have presbyopia, and I deal with a lot of people who either had presbyopia and now no longer have any noticeable symptoms or are dealing with it, and it's kind of part of our general community. So let's talk about presbyopia. First of all, presbyopia is a symptom of aging. So as such, there is no quote unquote cure for it. At least none so far, at least none that is actually known and all of the herbal, schmerbal, purple stuff on the internet. Feel free to try it, but isn't going to reverse your presbyopia because presbyopia is a hardening of the lens. The lens in the front of your eye that determines focus. Right? The closer you look at something, the more that lens is shaped by a muscle called the ciliary muscle that tenses up to shape that lens. And as you get older, that lens hardens, so it doesn't shape as readily as much. So that means as you get closer and the lens tries to shape more, but it is hardened because of age, doesn't really do that very well, so you can't see clearly at close distances. Basically. But. The question isn't whether that happens. That absolutely happens. The question is, do you need to wear glasses because of it? And that's where things get a little bit more tricky. A couple of cases. One is in your 40s, like my old face. And if you notice the tiniest bit of presbyopia symptoms in poor lighting at home, like you're reading at night, right? Dimly lit room, playing on your phone with low brightness settings in a dark room and you know it's a little bit of presbyopia, I would not reach or buy plus lenses, glasses, reading glasses for that. Instead, I would add more light. Add more light, the presbyopia symptom is gonna go away and you're gonna avoid the need for glasses. I guess that is home remedy number one. More light, right? Dim lighting, if there's a little bit of blur as you get closer, more light, more light. Ideally natural light, if it's daytime, sit near a window, very helpful. Number two, and why I said in number one, don't reach for glasses, is once you start wearing those glasses, it's very easy to slip into needing those glasses and needing more of it. Not a lot more, this isn't like myopia, it shouldn't go very high, like people go to like a plus two, a plus 2.5, generally at the most. If it's much more than that, there's other things going on. But generally speaking, and you can buy them over the counter, there's no prescription advice or whatever here, it starts out with low plus, right? And then you get really used to that, right? And as you get really used to that, you're no longer, the plus lens compensates for the lens not moving in your eye, right? So now the hardening, the hardened lens doesn't have to work out anymore and it'll harden more than it might otherwise. Speculative, but that's in practice what we found with a lot of people. The difference between reaching for glasses and no longer challenging the cilia muscle and that lens in your eye tends to lead to needing those glasses. So really number two is if you can read something without wearing glasses, without getting a headache, without straining, without squinting, being ergonomically comfortable and generally feeling comfortable, don't reach for the glasses. That is the big, big home remedy number two, right? The third one is if you have myopia, if you have myopia, you can reverse it by the way, that is our main subject. Way more links on that below, nmyopia.org. We also have a big Facebook group with 15,000 plus members as of right now. We have this YouTube channel that has like 8 million something views. So this is a good resource for myopia. You can reverse that. The thing to do is if you have, if you have myopia, be careful about multifocal lenses, bifocal and multifocal lenses, where the lower part of the lenses gives you a lower minus diopter correction. You wanna not have that difference be more than like one diopter or so because the same thing as you would wear with wearing plus lenses you're then making the the, the ciliary muscle not work as much 
and it's more likely for you to get more of that presbyopia symptom. Now, you always want to have ophthalmologist checkups. I don't recommend opto retail optometrists. I don't recommend you go to a store in the mall to get an eye checkup because they're just going to sell you glasses. Go to a proper ophthalmologist, right? Real proper doctor that doesn't sell glasses, that gives you a nice annual checkup. Follow the advice, follow their advice over the advice of like this kind of random internet face, certainly. But also realizing that a lot of mainstream quote unquote medicine is really focused on symptom treatment, right? So at the first sign of there being something that could be treated, it's pretty common for people that sell these treatments to go, oh, you, you need one of these, step back, you need it. And probably most likely, very possibly you don't, right? If you're already wearing reading glasses, then lowering the, the plus diopters a little bit, right? Like if you're wearing a plus 1.5, Maybe you just need a plus 1.25 and a little bit more good ambient lighting, right? Reducing diopter dependence, diopter is the strength of your reading glasses, is always a good idea. Again, if you can do it comfortably, without any headaches, without any weird having to contort yourself to see the page, without squinting, if you can do it, right? Like, and if maybe you start out in a place where you have good lighting, Right? Maybe you only need plus 1.25 in good lighting, or maybe you even only need plus one in good lighting, right? Like there's no rush. You don't need to throw away your, your, your reading glasses, but just see how much do you really actually need? And then also realize that maybe you need a little bit less, right? In good lighting and earlier in the day. And if you're less stressed, you'll notice if you start paying attention that your eyesight varies throughout the day and throughout, depending on what you eat and depending on how you feel and depending on how you slept. So get two pair, right? Get the pair you have and then get a little bit lower pair and see how they work. Again, don't strain yourself. There's no benefit to straining yourself. Just see if whatever you use is as much as you really need. And that is really number three is don't overuse this stuff, right? Like only use as much as you really need because you go higher, right? And then you really make that lens not do any work anymore. And then it's that much harder to go back to trying to like reactivating a hardened lens. It's gonna be a lot harder than if you've been in the practice of, of using your eyes. And then also take breaks, right? And that's really number four is four, is don't spend too much time in that close-up mode, right? Like very, you want your eyes to relax. You want that ciliary muscle, that focusing muscle is tight. When you're reading a book, you want to give the muscle a chance to relax, right? Like go outside, play in the garden, look at birds, whatever the case may be, set yourself a timer, right? Like two hours of close-up is plenty at one time before you take a nice break for distance. You do that regularly, you also notice that your dependence on these reading glasses will reduce. And that's really the, the big, story here is you can't cure presbyopia whatever magical pills and eye exercises they try to sell you on the internet do not work because they don't change the fact that that the lens hardens with age but what you can change is does that make any difference to you right like if you don't start being dependent on reading glasses or if you reduce your dependence on reading glasses then it doesn't matter right like with age things stop working as awesomely as they did before, but you can maintain a functional level that works well enough that you don't get dependent on all of these things. I think that's it. That's it for home remedies. If you want to enjoy herbs and fruits and magical pills from the internet, don't let me stop you. I'm a little bit of a sarcastic person, mainly because I like to read all the science and understand the biology and really look at what tends to work best. Also notice that placebo effect has a strong positive impact sometimes. So if you love the herbal uniberries, by all means, don't let me distract you from that. My main thing is just try to reduce your dependence on those doctors. If you like this video, and especially if you have myopia and you wanna watch more of these as they come out, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.